Here is one of the most unusual recreation vehicles you will have ever seen. Starting in 1976, Winnebago Industries, in cooperation with Orlando Helicopter Airways, built the Winnebago or Atascahela home in two floor plans. The first based on the Sikorsky S55 and the larger one on the S58, which you may recall from the 80s TV series Riptide. These Sikorsky helicopters saw action in Korea and Vietnam, as well as service right here at home for the Coast Guard and the Reserves. During the 1970s, a plan was hatched to offer these helicopters, modified as Winnebago's, which made them capable of RVing anywhere the bird could land. These were well equipped and should have been for the $300,000 price tag in 1970s money. These Gila homes had a full galley with stove and refrigerator, a wet bar, hot and cold running water, a full bath with a hot shower and toilet, 6,000 BTU air conditioner, 40,000 BTU furnace, a music system and color TV, a 3.5 kilowatt generator, an awning, two water tanks, two holding tanks, and sleeping for up to six. The purchaser had a few options, including interior and exterior colors, amphibious floats for water landings, a canvas screened enclosure, which we call a screen room today, to attach to the awning, and they could upgrade the power plant from a gas engine to a Pratt & Whitney 600 shaft horsepower jet turbine engine. The cockpit was accessible from the living compartment, making it FMCA membership eligible, and came complete with all the communications and avionics you could need. The larger S58 had a 56-foot rotor diameter, which is about the same as a Class A motorhome's turning radius is today. Unloaded, it weighed in at 9,200 pounds, with a 3,300 pound cargo carrying capacity. It had a maximum altitude of 8,000 feet, and had a flight range of 3.5 hours at 100 to 110 miles per hour on 220 gallons of gas. In its day, the Winnebago Atascahela home was a big deal and garnered quite a bit of attention. In September 1977, Hearst Publishing's Popular Mechanics dedicated its front cover to the flying camper that could let you go where you've never been before. The spread contains some of the few remaining pictures of the Gila homes we have today, in addition to a couple from Winnebago archives and two from aviation historians Glenn Chatfield and Peter Nicholson. There were a total of eight Gila homes built, and all are gone, but the base helicopters, or airframes as they're called, which were featured in this piece, are still flying under different configurations.